you know, head coach has joined us. I, I guess if I interviewed after half an hour, you'd have been a very happy man, but maybe not so now. Uh, yeah, correct. I thought, I thought we, standed out, we started outstanding in terms of how we played, our possession, our patterns, our movements, our style was excellent. And then we just completely went away from it and stopped doing the things that had got us into a lead. And um, so, yeah, that was particularly disappointing. Is that something that comes with younger players? You have got a lot of younger players, or is that just a, a disappointment in general? 100% with younger players. Yeah. You have to have bravery on the ball. Mm. You have to recognise what you're good at, what got you there. You have to have courage. Um, that also comes with experience. So the only way to give them experience is to play football. And the only way you learn is by making mistakes. And does it also underline maybe that the, you've talked about it, I'm not going to chat this now, but the need for a bit of experience in your team in general? Um, yeah, to answer that question, yes, but we can't we can't bring in twenty experienced players. So, and um, you can't, you know, I always say Rome wasn't built in a day. You've got a cracking group of players, cracking group of young players. Um, you know, they leave everything on the pitch. They work so hard. They give everything they got. Um, I, I also think we sometimes um, we sometimes get punished for our own good things. So we play so well. And you've seen against Portsmouth and Oxford and today, teams just don't want to play against us. They just go incredibly direct, but there's there's plenty of ways to skin a cat. And I'm not criticising anybody for playing any particular way because we became direct in the second half, but we tend to start games, start well, dominate possession, and then there's a seems to be a switch against us. So that's something we're going to have to get used to. It won't be every week. Um, right. That's something we have to learn to deal with. Um, Teddy Bishop was saying a, a new position for him, and he, he did well, didn't he? It was the runs in the box that, that led to the, I mean, obviously the cross as well, but the runs in the box. Yeah, something we walk hard on is uh, runs from our eight and tens, running through the pockets. So, a uh, big thing for us, uh, we, we, we need to improve on his crossing early. We did that today. Uh, two great runs from Teddy, and they uh, got his just rewards. He's, he's a fabulous man. Um, the first goal from them, from from their point of view, would be a well worked goal, wouldn't it? A, a neat ball through and run through, but you'd be frustrated with the line. Yeah, it depends. Who, it depends who you're thinking of. So we, there's a couple of things. We have a horrible habit of trying to play when we're not in control of the ball, mm. and we're trying to explain to the guys that, you know, football. There's no shame in hooking balls on. There's no shame in turning things round. Um, I watched Man United do it today. Um, I guarantee you, when you watch Liverpool tonight, they turn things round good sides do that it's good play um, we've got a horrible habit of trying to continually trying to play football when, the, when you're not in control of the ball and that's what cost us the first goal today a um, little bit of naivety uh, in terms of the, the run through uh, I think if you've got an experienced player in the back four the guy doesn't get to make the run because you just step in front of him and block him and nobody sees that and they're the dark arts of football but you know, I'm 46 years of age and when I played in the back four, I was particularly slow, so I had to do stuff like that, but guess what, they work.